Now at 5.30, a paragliding accident claims the life of a local father. It's a story we first told you about over the weekend. The North Smithfield man was paragliding with friends Saturday when something went terribly wrong and he plunged into frigid waters. Now police say he had been paragliding for most of the afternoon when the eyewitnesses noticed he was having mechanical issues. And tonight, a family friend is reacting to the tragedy. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the studio with the new details tonight. And guys, I talked with a family friend who says that all of this has just been incredibly tragic. He told me more about the North Smithfield husband and father. North Smithfield resident Alvaro Echeveres rushed to a Massachusetts hospital Saturday, but he doesn't survive. These are pictures and videos of the rescue attempt. Officials say 49-year-old Echeveri was paragliding off Plum Island. You can see it here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. When a likely mechanical failure caused him to crash into the frigid Merrimack River. Two friends tried to save him, but officials say the cold water stopped them. An eyewitness saw it all. It's tragic. It's a sad, sad thing. The person in the glider went across me again and went towards the water and came very low. We don't like to ever to hear that news anywhere. The water temperature was in the 30s. This is a picture of the paraglider taken by an eyewitness who tells us it was taken just about 10 minutes before the crash into the water. This is the scene after the crash. Police say Echeverry didn't have a life vest on and it took crews 20 to 30 minutes to get him out of the water. It's unclear if he died from trauma or drowned in the cold river. He worked for the last several months as a network administrator for the town of Franklin, Massachusetts. I talked with a family friend of Echeverry who says the North Smithfield man Man was married and the father of an eight-year-old. He said the Rhode Island man's family is in Newburyport today. Now, police tell me the medical examiner will perform an autopsy to confirm the exact cause of Echeverry's death. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.